hello friends welcome to our channel and today's our example is very simple because in this example we will discuss about how we can use the fastest way to write the tick mark if we have completed the task and if the task is not completed so we just use here cross so you can see here we have made the total number of uh, task and we need to write here the status if the task is completed so I just the tick for completed and you can see here we also use the report here in which we got the completed figure one and if I again select the task to completed so you can see here we got the two and for the incompleted task I use cross and you can see here the report incompleted so we will discuss today how we can uh, use or how we can make the fastest sheet by using the such type of signs if we have completed a task so how we can use the tick or how if we have not completed us so how we can cross mark in the same way how we can make the conclusion of the report this is all we discuss in our example from the scratch let's start our example from the beginning and first we select the cell and write here the total assignments and in the assignment we have to write the task so i just write here the task one for the sake of the simplicity you can write the task as for your own need and after selecting the task i just drag it down uh, up to uh, 15 tasks and after that i write here the status now now I need to write here the status of the task like if the status is completed so it should give the tick and if the status is not completed it should give the uh, cross mark so how it can give first we have to select the whole array or whole column in which we want the sign or in which we want the status of the tick mark or, or of the cross then we go here in the font and in the font we go at the bottom in the bottom we have the three options like first winding and windings 2 and windings 3 so we select the windings 2 and after selecting the windings 2 what happened like if I just write here pr or press shift plus P so it will give the tick mark or if I just write shift 0 so or shift O it will give mark X or for the simplicity if you write capital P so it will give tick or if you write capital O so it will give you X mark then I select again the whole array and go here in the conditional formatting in the conditional formatting it says new rule clear and DG so I just go here in the manage rule and in the manage rule first I give the new rule and in the new rule you can see here the different options I just go here in the format only cells that contain and in this format we go here in this specific text and in this specific text we write here P which means our tick mark and if we write here tick mark so we go here in the format and in the format we want the font in the bold and in the color we require the green I just press OK and again OK and now we need to write another rule which is new rule again go here in the format only cell and in the only cell I write specific text and now I use O and in the O format I again use the bold and in the bold we require the red color and I just press your ok ok and then apply then press ok so you can see here 
if I use P for the correct and O for not completing so it gives me in the color format which is more presentable to us now I just select whole table make the center alignment and make the better presentable table and now you again make it some presentable format so we have completed our one task now for another one which is we need the report so I just select the two cells and write here the report and in the report we have first one is uh, completed and second is uncompleted so we have the two data how much tasks we have completed and how much tasks we have required or the task that is uncompleted so first we write here equals to count if and in the count if function it says select range so we select the whole range comma then it says criteria so in the completed we have the tick and for the tick we use capital P so I just use capital P inverted comma and close bracket so we got the total count which means two so we have used the two tick and again the same function for it like count if bracket open we again select the whole range and there for the incompleted task we use capital O and inverted comma close and bracket close so we again got the two now I just make it more presentable and make it more better and attractive for the audience and now you only need to make it more presentable you can change the presentation now if we have completed the task we can use here P capital P or if the task is not completed you can use the O so you can see here whenever I use here tick which means P capital or for the small shift plus P so the completed task digits increases and if I just increase or if I just use here 0 or capital O so the completed task decreased by 1 and uncompleted task increased by 1 this is how you can put manually the tick mark for the completed task and cross for the incomplete task. this is the fastest way you can use these types of symbols if you face any confusion in this example please write in our comment section hopefully we will make another video or hope we will respond in the same comment